all right how are we doing this evening it's nice to be here i want to know where everyone is from all right good evening good morning good afternoon i don't know where you're watching from it's nice to be here just before we start just let's get to introduce each other tell me where you're watching from tell me what your name is tell me where you're watching from tell me something about yourself if you have if you attend the next level prayer tell me about it if you have the testimony tell me about it if you have you know some expectation tell me about it hi inca from the us um hi everyone on facebook also hi on an instagram tell me where you're watching from thank you chioma thank you simply helen thank you thank you thank you it's nice to have you here it's nice to have you here miriam musuji Olamide, watching from Abuja, Ladidi from Nigeria, Adenike from UK, Vanessa from USA, originally from Cameroon. That's really nice. So I get to learn some French from you. That's really nice. Okay, Chuku is watching. It's nice. It's nice. And Atinike from Lagos, Jennifer from New York, Vivian from UK. So if you want to invite your friends, this would be a good time to go ahead and invite your friends. So I'm just going to go straight into this. So this evening i want to talk about marital delays and um um one of the things that's going to happen today is this we're going to understand why some people are really delayed when it comes to marriage and what you can do as a practical step to go forward what you can do as a practical step to go forward hi lois from uh, from kenya naomi from ghana aisha from nairobi debbie from lagos um from facebook cassandra from facebook and someone says, I cannot hear. Or if you can hear on Facebook, let me know you can hear. All right, so let's go and invite all of our friends and um, we'll get straight to this. So I'm talking about dealing with marital delay. So the first thing is this, and you know, if you have questions, just keep your questions. When it's time, I'm gonna ask you to put your questions up and we can really put our questions up today. Hi from Uganda, hi from Lagos, Iboko, hi from Ibadan, Messi from Nigeria. Hi, all of my friends on Facebook. Hi, you can do it. You can also do a, um, a watch party and invite your friends. Okay, let's get to it now. So, um, let me talk about delay. You know, very often I come across people and they say things like, you know, like the way life is for me, it's so challenging because I really want to get married. I thought I'll be married by this time, but unfortunately I'm not married. And they say, some people are really heartbroken. Some people are disappointed. Some people are overwhelmed. Some people feel as if there's no point again. I'm not just going to think about marriage. I'm going to ignore it. And if you're in that kind of situation, I understand what it means. If you want to ignore being married, I understand what it means because of the frustration you're being through, because of the, you know, just a lot of things you've been through. So we want to talk about delay. So the first question is this. Are you really delayed or you're under pressure? Are you really delayed or you're under pressure? So I said, what is the difference between delay and pressure? See, for you to be delayed, that means you must know the appointed time. The reason why is this. If I tell you I'm coming to see you today and I come at four o'clock, you can't say to me that you delayed me. But if we agreed and say, hey, I'm coming to see you at three o'clock and I come at four o'clock, you'll be like, Oh, but why are you just coming now? I've been delayed for an hour. And the reason why you say you are delayed is because you have been waiting for one hour. A lot of people say they are delayed. But the question is that, do you even know the appointed time for your marriage? Until you know when an appointed time of marriage is, you cannot even say you're delayed. So a lot of people that say they are delayed, what happens is this. They are comparing themselves with somebody else. They are comparing themselves with their friends. They are comparing themselves with the circle of life. And listen, there's something about comparison. There are people that are going to get married early and have a great marriage. There are people that are going to get married late and have a horrible marriage. They are going to get married early and have an early divorce. It's going to work both ways. You must be careful not to use somebody else's yardstick as your yardstick. Because you might not be delayed. You might just be prepared for what is significant. So you need to just kind of, in a way, just calm down a little. So it might not be delayed that you're experiencing. You might just be preparing yourself for something significant. And let me say this secondly, 
there is nothing absolutely nothing wrong about not getting married and let me say something as difficult as this is because some people are really interested in marriage just to tick a box just to impress their parents and their friends and to impress society there's nothing wrong about not getting married and not everyone will get married as a matter of fact jesus christ whom i serve with my spirit was never married and he was not a failure Mar we cannot raise marriage to the point that marriage defines whether you're a success or failure. We need to be careful how we go over this marriage thing. I need to lay the balance before we move into it. We need to be careful because I'm like, oh, you know, if I'm not married, then my life is over. You can't say that. That is too much. You know, everybody has purpose. Everybody has meaning. Okay? So, you need to ask yourself, am I delayed because I know the appointed time? Or am I, what they call it, or am I functioning with pressure? Because if you are functioning with pressure, then a lot of things are going to shake you up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. All right, so let's go into it. So now, if you're really delayed, I'm going to really help you today. If you're really delayed, listen, if you know someone that is delayed, a man, a woman, a young lady, a young man that is delayed, I'm going to really help you today because what I will share with you will be so so revolutionary your thinking and not just that you will know exactly what to do to move up from being single to becoming dating to becoming engaged you're going to move up a notch today i'm going to really help you today so and it's going to be very simple things that you will be taught that you will learn and we're going to share together the first thing is this why are people delayed and this is i can't finish this today just caveat there why are people delayed? number one because some people are single, but they are not available. Mm. Really? Can you be single and not available? Listen to me. You can have a phone that cannot receive calls. Not because the phone is not working, but you are already on a call and the phone is going to say engage. How can someone be, you know, how can someone be single and not available? The reason why people can be single and not available is number one, they are existing in a time-wasting relationship. Do you know a lot of people are in relationships where they know it will not lead to marriage, where they know it will not lead to anything, and they're just there. They just they know they're just a waste of time. They're just hoping something will change. And see, what I've noticed is this: most people that get delayed stayed so long in the relationship that they knew they were going nowhere. And they decided to just stay in it, hoping that half bread is better than nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, you are only wasting your time. That's one reason why people are really delayed. That's one reason. That's one reason why people are really delayed. Please, if you have questions, remember I cannot read the questions as I'm teaching. So you have to kind of wait until I'm done and put your questions there, even if you don't disagree. So, so, so the reason, so those people are single. I'll give an example. There are a lot of married, there are a lot of single ladies that are dating married men. See, you, it's difficult to be in that kind of relationship and really think you're going to find someone today because the weight is that person going to take up your mind, your time, your emotions. It's going to be so great. You will not even have time today. Just imagine you're dating this guy that's 45. He's so wealthy. He's so calm. He's been taught because he's gone through a wife that's matured him. You know, just the taste, just the fact they've tasted that kind of man that is matured, he's done so well. Now you're dating this guy that's your two years older than you, he's 28, and he behaves in a certain sense. You just can't understand it. And the reason is that you're already in the relationship that's just taking you way ahead if it's making sense to you just type what is making sense to you so the first reason why i put it because you can be single and not and unavailable the second category of people that are single and not available are people that are distracted they are distracted some people are just very distracted you know they're like you know i have like you know when i get all those things and i'll come to marriage like marriage is just one piece of thing you're going to get that way that's not how marriage is some people are just very distracted. They're distracted. So many things, they, don't, they can't focus on it. This is the way life works. Focus. Whatever you focus on, you make a headway in it. Whatever you focus on, what do you do? You make a headway in it. Some people are so, so distracted. 
you know, so and you need to t talk about it. Maybe the reason why you think you're maybe you're not delayed, maybe you're just distracted. You're just distracted with other things, with job, with career. You see some guys are like, oh, they're not great girls to marry. But the truth is that they're not even putting any real effort into getting married. They are just getting distracted. The third reason why people are delayed is this. This is the most painful one. This is what I've noticed. This one is a game changer. A lot of people that I know that say they are delayed is this. They are stuck in the past. So, these are not people that are currently dating. So, they dated someone a year, two, three years ago. And sometimes those relationships are long relationships that they thought would end up in marriage. Maybe they even got engaged. But... For some reason, that relationship did not work out and one person let the other person and they just cannot move on. I don't know if you know a friend like that. I don't know if you're like that. Maybe you did it this guy and you thought you had an amazing time and it was wonderful and this is five years ago and you just can't move on. You just can't move on. You, you try to literally move on, but you just can't move on. And the thing is this. So you are still single. This is a painful thing. You are still single, but your emotions, your thoughts, you're really wishing that thing would come back. You, you're stuck in the past. And this is what I tell people. Nobody, listen to me, nobody goes forward looking backwards. Nobody goes forward looking backwards. You, you can't go forward in your relationship if you keep looking at the past. You know, you, you know, the, so, 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 some ladies will keep will keep in touch and say, who is he dating now? Who is he with right now? Where is he having a job? Why do you want to know those kind of things? Why do you want to know those kind of things? Some of the guys are checking, who is he with right now? Who is this with right now? Why do you want to know those kind? Those kind of things are going to hold you down. You are not watching yourself. You are watching him. So a lot of people are stuck in the past. And, and, and some people, they're not just stuck in the past. Because of how the relationship did not work out, there is a lot of hurt, like huge hurts. And because of those hurts that they have, maybe it was the guy that took their virginity away. Maybe it was something that the pastor approved. It was something that they spent a lot of money on. And because of those hurts, they just cannot move on. And you know what they do? They keep digging in a hole and they keep digging themselves into a hole and keep digging themselves into a hole and they keep digging themselves into a hole. I'm sorry if this is... Like, I, I know some of you are responding like, like, this is heartbreaking for you. I understand because sometimes for you to treat the wound, you have to open it up. I don't want to just talk about it. And that's why if you're in this discussion today, this is going to be real, 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 real. And if you want to help someone, you can get someone to join the conversation because it's going to get really real today. There's no holds back conversation today. Because if we're going to help each other, we must just come out of it. And this is how you know. This is how you know you're stuck in the past. When you remember your ex, how do you feel? Someone says, I feel nothing. The way I will know you feel nothing is this. If you can get on your knees and tell God to bless him, you feel nothing. But most people can't do that. You know why? Because deep down in their heart, there's a pain. Someone said, someone said, did you just tell me to get on my knees and pray for my ex? That idiot! If there's something I can pray for, it's for fire to consume him. I understand your pain, but guess what? This is what unforgiveness does. This is unforgiveness. Someone stabs you one time. Unforgiveness that you take the knife and you keep stabbing yourself. The person you're angry with has moved on. Some of them gotten married. They've literally forgotten about you. And you are there and you're so upset and you're so angry and so much in pain and all of those kind of things. Why not release them? Because, listen, release them so that you can release yourself. And let me say something to you, please. God has a way to compensate you and to... God has a way to compensate you. He just, you just need to trust him with your pain. And let me say something. I wish I could discount the fact that I think it's not painful. I know it is. But God has a way to compensate you and release you from the pain. There are other people that are single. So this category of people. So you see these people, they are single, but they're not available because they are so stuck with the pain when a great guy comes around the place, they cannot, they cannot even see him. They cannot even notice real love. People say, well, what about that guy? They're like, I'm not even into that. Because their heart is so meshed with pain. They see everything through the high of hurts. Everybody that comes to love them is hurting them. 
those kind of people, you know what they will do most often? They will bury themselves into their work and bury themselves into their schedule. The other, you know, the other kind of people, so these people are stuck in the past. Some of them are hurting. The other category of people that are single and unavailable is they are, they are afraid. And when people are afraid, you know what they do? They just run. They, they, they are girls and guys that cannot commit. And they cannot commit, they just run. They, they just run. They just run because they're afraid that this will be like my parents. This will be like my friend. This will be like what happened before. This will be like this. This will be like, they're just afraid. And these are the category of people. And these are people are delayed. So although they want something, they are single, but they're not available. The question today is this. Are you single and are you available? Maybe I should add one more category of, of people to this. There are people that are single and not available. You know why? They are, you cannot find them in the space of people that want to date. You're single. We can find you in dating spaces. We can find you, you know, you, you're, you're always with work. From work, you're always by yourself. Nobody knows where you are. You don't like to be around people. Excuse me, please. How will we find you? And, the, you know, and amazingly, sometimes I, I, would ask a, I would ask a single girl, I would say, hey, we have this. And, and let me say, I'm, I'm going to put it out there. Every month I have things in our church where I just invite single people to just come around and meet up. It's so like free drinks and all of those kind of things. You know, sometimes they even have to pay. But the reason why is that I'm just giving the single people an opportunity to connect. And guess what? The people that are really, really single don't turn up. And they'll be like, no, no, I'm not into that kind of thing. Listen to me. You really want it. And you'll be like, you know, I, I, don't want, I don't want people to think I'm desperate. What is there to be ashamed about that you're single and you want a spouse? What is there to be ashamed about? Everyone went through it. That was the time I went through that patch. The, every single person went through it. So why you want it to be like, listen, without you telling us we know you're single and you want, to, you want a spouse, it shows all over your face. All right. So, so that's the first reason why, you know, people are, are single and they're, um, and they're delayed. The second reason why people are single is this, because of negative mentality. Because of what? Negative mentality. And I have like seven lists of this mentality. I can't take all today. I'm going to do some more next week, Saturday, so we can get to come so that we don't push all the content because I want to go home and think about this. And if this is making sense to you, you can, you know, you can thank you. One lady said off the mic, you know, you can, you know, you can type some comments there. You can put some encouraging words there. I will take questions after now. And, you know, later on, you know, I'm going to bring other single people, you know, actors, actresses to just share what there is for them. So negative mentality, the first mentality, this is power mentality. What your mentality will help you attract or repel. Your mentality, please don't ask question. Yes, ask question in a little while. Your mentality will help you what? Attract or repel. What is the first mentality that keeps people delayed? Number one, neediness. Oh, wow. What is neediness? Neediness is the state where you feel that the best thing that can happen to you in life is to date somebody. Neediness is the state where you feel as if, if I don't date, I'm finished. Neediness is the, is the way where you feel as if I need someone to complete me. Listen to me. That is not what it should be. The thing is this. The more needy you are, the further away your desire goes away from you. Even when it comes to money, when you become needy with money, people stay away from you. Once you become needy for love and relationship, they stay away from you. You know why? There's, there's a negative emotion, aura, energy that comes to you, that comes from you to people that just say, this guy is so needy. This girl is so needy. Neediness makes people feel as if there's something wrong with you. And the thing is this, a lot of people, you know, because we're civilized, you can hide your neediness and be very calculative about it. But if you're needy, it's going to seep out. Let me tell you, it's going to seep out. When people are needy, they will do what other people do naturally and it will turn out wrong for them. So they will check on the guy or the girl that really likes them and they will do it so much. And they will do, and sometimes they will not check on the guy or the girl that likes them and they will not do it at all. And it will just show there's something awkward. And the awkwardness comes from the place of neediness because your actions, see, once your mentality is right, you can only fake it for such a while. You're going to act in line with your mentality. Neediness is not attractive. 
It's unattractive. You, you see some ladies, you know, the reason why they keep up a strong face, I'm like, you know, what's your name? My name is Shinana. You know, they keep a very strong face. And it's, I don't want to appear needy. But listen to me. If you're needy, you're needy. Either you appear like that or not. It's going to come out of you eventually. Even if you pass some, fa some faces, it's going to come out the next time. The same thing some guys. Have you seen guys that try too hard with money? They go to a club, they can't strike a, you know, they can't strike up a conversation. They go to a land, they can't have a conversation. And the next day, they buy a drink and buy her this and buy her that. And when they come, they roll a key like Rolex. And you know, you're like, why are you working so hard? This is so hard. And you wonder, how come all the ladies I attract come for my money? The reason why is this, that's what you push out. You push money out all the time. You, you behave as if you don't have any other value to offer the ladies than money. And so, the people that want the money fall for it like a pack of cards. Neediness. Neediness, Neediness sends the wrong energy. It creates the wrong atmosphere. It creates a wrong energy. It creates a wrong atmosphere. Needy people need someone to make them feel love. That's the challenge. Needy people. So let's dive into this mentality. Needy people need someone to make them feel love. In fact, when they describe love to you, they're like, you know, my life is not complete because of this person that is not in my life. If Shinena was in my life, oh my God, my life would be awesome. My life would be beautiful. And you're like, listen, the way it works is this. Until you love yourself, no one can love you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Until you love yourself, no one can love you. See, it, it, it's, it's like going into a mall. Why is it like going into a mall? When you go into a mall, do you notice in the mall, this is what happens in the mall. The price of something is $10. You don't pay above the price. You always ask for a discount. If you can love yourself and your love for yourself is at zero or minus, when someone else comes, they can't pay for it because you've not put love on yourself. And when I say put love on yourself, it's not about just you know doing some fancy things. No, it's the fact that you must be in love with yourself. Listen to me. If you're not in love with yourself, it's so selfish to ask somebody else to be in love with you. Because how do you ask someone else to be in love with what you, the owner, is not in love with? You must, you must be in love with yourself. You must be in love with yourself. You know, some, some people are so concerned about the way they look, the way they did, the way they did, they do it. Listen to me. If you don't love yourself, start with that. It's difficult. It's extremely difficult to find someone to genuinely love you if you are not in love with yourself. And let me tell you something. When people that are not in love with themselves find love, you know what happens? In a short time, they spoil it. In a short time, they destroy it. They do things that shows that they are unlovable. The question I want to ask you is this. Are you lovable? Do you love yourself? Do you look at yourself and like, oh my God, I just, I just love me. You know, sometimes I just look at me, I'm like, I just love me. I just love my life. This is a good life I have. Do I have everything perfect? No. And this is the thing about love. Love does not require perfection. Oh my God. Ooh. Love does not require perfection. Listen to me. I don't love myself because I'm dark skinned and I'm handsome. I don't love myself because I'm progressive in my thinking. I love me for me. The, the reason why most people don't love themselves is this. You keep looking at your size. You'll be like, you know, the reason why I don't love myself is that I don't have the perfect shape. What is the past perfect shape? The reason why a lot of people don't love themselves is this. There's overexposure to media, social media. So social media tells them who is lovable and who is not. So they keep comparing themselves to these false ideas of someone that is not lovable. Have you not noticed? A, have you not noticed? A lot of the people will love and really crave for don't love themselves. When you hear someone like Michael Jackson, everybody, Michael Jackson was like an idol, idol to everybody. Everybody seemed to love Michael Jackson, but did Michael love himself? When you read all the stars, did they really love themselves? Very heartbreaking. You know, because no matter the love from the outside, if you don't love yourself on the inside, you cannot receive it. The danger... And this is why people get delayed. The, the delay is that you will think nobody loves you, but the reason why you think nobody loves you is that you do not love yourself. Do you know how many ladies cannot spend on themselves 
They are waiting for some guys to take them to a restaurant and buy them a nice meal and you have a great job. You need nobody's permission to go into a restaurant, buy you a nice meal. Even if you're a lady, you need nobody's permission to buy a ticket and go to Hawaii, go to Dubai, go to Mauritius and just have a great time of your life. You work for it. You deserve it. You deserve it. The same thing as a guy. You deserve it. Let me tell you something. People that love themselves are extremely attractive. You go to a restaurant and you see ladies that just enjoy themselves together. And the guy is wondering, the lady over there, who is she with? She's by herself. But she seems to have so much fun. Like, you are just a bundle of excitement and joy and peace. You know, you see them in church and, they, you know, either they come in with an, with an Uber or they come with a car. It doesn't make difference. You know why? Because when you love yourself, it's not about what you have and what you don't have. It's not about height. It's not about size. It's not about... Some people say, I don't have the hip, I don't have the nice calves, I don't have this. Listen, that's why you don't love yourself. The reason why you don't love yourself is this. You keep focusing on what you don't have. Let me tell you something. You may not have all the curviness of the models, but your character is gold. You are so full of love. You are so good with kids. My God, when it comes to support, you're wonderful. When it comes to domestic help, you're wonderful. Those counts for a lot of things. When it comes to financial support, you can support. Why are you discounting yourself? Because you don't look like Beyonce. Just because you don't, you don't, you don't look like this person. Because you don't look like that person. Why do you do that? You know, a lot of guys, the same thing. They'll be like, you know, I don't have money. I'm not as rich as, you know, um, this person to date this hot girl. But listen, that rich person doesn't know how to treat a guy right, a girl right. But you can treat girls so nicely. You have words. You have kindness. You have a good heart. What does that count for? How come the, the reason why you don't love yourself is that you keep focusing on all the terrible things about yourself. You keep telling yourself, look at me, I'm overweight. Oh my God, I have a pot. My belly is coming out. Oh, I'm 38. No, I'm 40. Do you know something? There's just something about when you're a lady and you're older. Sometimes when you work, when you work on it very well, you're so full of patience, full of kindness. You, you have a sense of maturity that the younger ladies will not have. Why not focus? Why not focus? On the things, on the things that are working. You know, someone told me something and says, you know, I don't know why married men are the ones that always approach me. And there's a lot of reason for that. And I say, congratulations. So why are you saying congratulations? I say that, I mean, if matured men are the ones that come to you, that means that you are just a big deal. Because why do you interpret everything negatively? I'm not saying you should date the married man. But like, you know, these are people that tasted women. And they look at all the girls and they come for you. Oh, wow. That means you're a big deal. I'm not saying date them, but there's something about you just knowing that you are enough. There's something about you just knowing that you're enough. There's some, and this is what I'm saying. True love does not require perfection. And that's what we'll find in Christ Jesus in us. He says, we should come the way we are. True love, I'm not saying don't work on yourself, but true love knows you're not perfect. I don't have to be perfect for you to love me, but you love me enough to stay with me and we can walk through the process. And that's why sometimes, you know, a lot of people that date and they have to perform. There's a lot of performance going on in the relationship. Like, oh, I have to perform for this. I have to perform for that. I have to perform for this. I have to perform for that. I have to perform for this. I have to perform for that. I want to say something. I want to say three times. Mention your name and say, I am lovable. And if you want to type it, it's a good time to type it. Say, mention your name and say, Chizoba, I am lovable. Mention your name and say, Funke, I am lovable. And say, Funke Harrison, I'm lovable. And say, Helen, I am lovable. And say, Olayinka, I am lovable. I love myself. I want to type it. You know, I love myself and I have so much love to give. I love myself. I have so much love to give. Just write your name, Uche, I am lovable. I love myself and I have so much love to give. I want to type it. If you can type it, say, I am lovable. I love myself. I have so much love to give. Paul, I am lovable. I love myself and I have so much love to give. I am lovable. I love myself and I have so much love to give. Until you're lovable, you can find true and lasting love. And when you find true and lasting love, most of the time, it will be short term. And let me say, let, let me say this as I close because this is mentalities we have to deal with today. Mentalities we have to deal with today. When you don't love yourself, let me tell you what goes on there. Let's, let's break it down. 
And if you want to share this with your friends, I'm going to leave the video on. You can share the link later on. If you don't love yourself, because what's dating or marriage like? Let me tell you what dating or marriage is like. Marriage is like buying into a company. That's what it is like. So there's this nice company that is doing so well here and it's doing so well and I want to buy into it. See, nobody buys into a company that is making loss. Nobody buys into a company that is making losses. Nobody buys into a company. And when they buy, they buy for cheap. So what does that mean? If you don't love yourself, nobody's going to love you. Nobody's going to buy into you. Because what are you scaling? There's nothing to scale. You're already in debt. You're already in debt. So they're scaling nothing. So what you need to do is that you need to improve on you. So when you improve on you, you can get someone to buy into you at a quality price. And that's what I'm saying today. That's exactly what I'm saying today. And the reason I'm saying so is that some of you say, well, I would love myself if I had more money, if I had a better shape, if I lived in a certain country, if my skin color was about. And I'm saying that love does not require perfection as you are. As you are. Let me tell you something. There's something about loving yourself. There's something about loving yourself that causes men and women to be attracted to you because there is an energy, there's an aura that comes from you that changes your life completely. Someone says, what do I do from here? This is the first part of this. I'm going to talk next week about all the mentalities. I'm going to talk next week about what you can do, you know, what you can do to really break out of this. You know, I'm going to talk about that next week. I'm going to talk about that, that next week. But what do I do from here? Just what can you do from between now and next week? The first thing is this. You just need to acknowledge where you are. Listen, if you feel lonely, that's where you are. You know, the, the amazing thing is this. People know they're needy. And they're just like, oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not needy. No, no, I'm not, no, 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 no. You know, a lot of people that really want relationships pretend as if they don't want it. Oh, I, I, I'm not needy. No, 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 don't tell me that I'm, I'm not needy. You know, it's who you are. It's where you are. So let me tell you something. Whatever you cannot accept, you cannot change. Whatever you cannot accept, you cannot change. And let me say something. In my personal experience, I grew up with a lot of rejection. It was natural for me to crave attention and crave love. And I had to get to a place in my life because I saw the way it affected me. I saw the way it affected my relationships. I saw the way it affected my, 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 my relating with people. I had to get to a place in my life that I stopped denying it because if I don't accept it, I can change it. Are you lo do you love yourself? If you, if you don't like yourself, let's talk about that. Maybe what you want to get is to get a pen. You know why? The moment you can begin to question something, the, that's the moment you can change it. Whatever is so sensitive to you that you want to abandon, you're so attached to it, you cannot treat it. You want to get a pen and say, okay, what, why don't I like myself? And you'll be like, okay, it's my shape. It's my shape. That's why you don't like yourself. Can you change it? You can. Do you have the will to change it? You can. Do you want to change it? If you do want to change it, it's it, let's say shape means nothing except it means something to you. Someone says, the reason I don't like myself is this. Someone says, hey, you know the thing? I, I I pastor a lot of people and I pastor models, actors, actresses. You know what I see? Even the people that you think that they have, they are Miss Nigeria, Miss Beautiful, Miss World. When you come in contact with them, most of them really don't feel proud about their body. I, I, I was in a conversation with a, big, a bikini model in London and she said, my job is humiliating. And I said, oh wow, what's humiliating about being a bikini model? And it says, you have to put your body out for everybody to see. I said, but that's how you make your money. Why do you think that's humiliating? Because for them to choose you, you must have a fantastic body. But that's how she thinks about it. So you that you feel a certain way, other people don't even feel that way. And that's why one of the biggest things is to acknowledge where you are. Acknowledge where you are. When you acknowledge where you are, then we can begin to get away. When you acknowledge where you are, you can begin to say this. You can begin to say, why do I think this way? How can I fix it? You cannot keep running away from negative emotions because the emotions you suppress 
eventually dominates you. You cannot keep running away from negative emotions. You think you're suppressing it, but we all can feel it. We all know there's something wrong. We all know you're not happy. And, and I'm saying this, and you know I'm saying this to you today because I really believe that you can have a great marital future. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, no matter where you are, no matter, you can be 38, you can be 45, there is someone that is willing somewhere to marry you, but you have to remove all the bad energy from within. This is the biblical word of saying You have to renew your mind. You have to begin to believe from the best. Listen to me. You can be negative and live a positive life. You can be negative on the inside and be positive on the outside. That's practically impossible. You can be needy. You can have thoughts that are not lovable and expect a positive life. It, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work. It's like it's like the old camera, the film camera, the shot. You know, those films, I don't know if you know the film camera. Once you have the negative, the negative is going to show the positive. It's the mirror principle. What's the mirror principle? Listen to this, everybody. This is the mirror principle. Before the mirror smile, you must smile. Before the mirror laughs, you must laugh. So what happens? On the inside, you must make something happen first that will go out on the outside. So you need to begin to say things like, I love so, someone. Check the things you say to yourself. See, let me tell you something. If they said write five things you love about yourself, do you have what to write? If they write, write five bad things you hate about yourself, you have so much to write. That shows how much you think about yourself. You're so focused on all the negative things. All the negative things. You, you wonder why it seems as if God is not answering your prayers? See, because you don't even love yourself, you don't even think God loves you. That's amazing. That, 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 that's that's life-changing. Because, because you don't even love, because you feel as if God loves this other people more than you. And God has this huge plan for other people more than you. And God has this fantastic thing for other people more than you. And he doesn't love me. You even feel as if this guy that I speak in, this pastor, he doesn't understand how my life has been. Because if he was in my shoes, he wouldn't even say things like this. I know where you are. I know where you are. I know I've been there. But, but the change came when I began to say, hey, I began to realize that God loved me. I began to realize that I love me. It's just difficult to accept love. When you don't love yourself and you know the thing i wish i could tell you i was perfect i wish i could tell you that i have a perfect life i i make mistakes i, I make huge mistakes but i love myself in my imperfection it's just by being human it's just been me being human I, I, as i walk through life i learn i go up i go down i, I learn sometimes I, I walk through difficult situations i do i make good mistakes as well i make very bad mistakes that's what it means to be human. That's what it, we all live for. That's what we all live for. Listen to me. If you don't enjoy you, how will your wife enjoy you? If you don't enjoy you, how will your husband enjoy you? Sometimes just, just look at yourself and be like, call your name and be like, Shewa, you're such a beauty. You're such a fun girl. Oh, Esther, you're so... You're so fun to be with. Oh my God. Shinene. Oh wow. And just have some good time. So the first thing is to acknowledge what you are. The second thing is to release it. How do you release it? By asking the questions. And what we're talking about here is changing the way you think and challenging and challenging and challenging the way you think about yourself. Don't allow a wrong label on yourself. Stay with the right label. The last thing I will say is this. Will you create beautiful pictures of your future in your mind? And let the picture of you getting married, having kids, you know, going out. Let those future fill your mind. Don't see yourself as, you know, I'll be 50 in bed, just wondering, no children, no husband or wife, me by myself. Don't think that way. Fill your mind that when I'm at this age, Oh, my husband will be walking down, will be working down some sea coastline in Mauritius. We'll have our kids left with a nanny. That's how I should think of the future. All right. Let me have your questions and we'll continue next week. If this was helpful to you, let me know what's helpful to you. Someone said, we shinene. Um, well, you need to attend harvest to know what shinene is. Let's get some questions and I'll be able to, you know, take it from there. 
we literally just have 10 minutes for this. Oh, that's good. Some people are writing some great things about themselves. On Facebook, do you have any questions? On Instagram, do you have any questions? If this was helpful, you know, let me know. And while I'm saying this, um, just to let you know, um, we're going to have like a private chat session. So if you're involved, if you want the private chat session, because I want to have a very private session for ladies, because somehow a lot of ladies have been really touching this and something I can bring in my wife and we can have a conversation. If you want to do that, part of that, send a chat, um, send a text, send a WhatsApp message to 091. If you're from Atlanta, Nigeria, it's going to be plus 23491. 331-55061. So it's plus 23491-331-55061. Send a chat message and this is what you're sending for. Let them know that I want to be I want to be part of the private, if you want to part of the private conversation, um, the question and answer, we'll do it in some other time. They want to be part of it. And if you want to be part of the girls kind of hangouts want to have that is private, you know, um, you know, yeah. Just also put it, I want to be part of it so we can we, we, we can share all that together. And the next, and I want to say this to you, the next level prayers from Monday to Wednesday, we're fasting and praying. And all of you that are single and I believe for to break it today, I want you to fast and pray. I want you to pray that the power of God will break. I, I want to read a testimony to you, and this would this will really, this will really, really just um this will just change your life. This testimony will just change your life. And this is a lady, this is very powerful. This lady that everything went wrong and she's, you know, I don't know if you can see this. It, it, it's on my, it's on my WhatsApp and you can follow me on WhatsApp. You can, I'm just going to follow me on Instagram and all of you on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram at Bolaji ID. Maybe someone is sharing this to you. Hear this testimony. Good morning, pastor. God overdid it for me. I just got engaged yesterday and as a norm, this may sound, I got engaged yesterday and as a norm, this may sound, as a norm as this may sound, no one in my family has ever achieved this. I came from a family where marriage is bitter and there's nothing to write home about. The ladies get pregnant out of wedlock and use polythene bag to carry their loads or just a briefcase to just another man's house. But I am, but here am I. A man actually knelt down to marry me. And guess what, Pastor? Our introduction is next month. Glory to Jesus. May God's anointing rest upon you. I am a product of next level prayers. Thank you for giving me this platform. Listen to me. The reason why I'm saying so is that, you know, I can talk to you all along like this. But when we pray, when we pray, when we pray, the phone number is 091. That, you know, I can see some phone numbers. The, the right phone number, I'm, I'm going to put it, pin it up. Someone has helped me here. Yeah. Yeah. So I've pinned it up. 091 If I'm asking Nigeria, just put plus 234. And you can add it to it from Arsenal Nigeria. So I would also want people that want to help me lead a group for girls or for, for people. And, you know, like I can lead a group for people and, you know, we can, because we just need to hold each other accountable. All right, let's go to the questions. Let's go to the questions quickly. I can take five questions and I get to pray for you. I get to pray for you. And as we pray today, let's believe God that you would also have a testimony in the name of Christ Jesus. Okay. Okay. Please don't post your numbers there. Send a WhatsApp message to the number. Please don't put your number online. I don't want people to scam you. People are using my name to ask for money. I don't ask people for money. So please don't post your number up there. I just want you to. Oh, thank you um, all the way from Dubai. Thank you for watching. How do you deal with being, uh, from being apparent needy? Someone says, how do you deal with apparent needy? First of all, you don't deal with apparent needy. It's like someone saying, how do you deal with apparent dirty? You deal with the death. What you need to deal with is the mentality of the neediness. What you need to deal with is the mentality of the neediness. Someone says, how do I act like a wife? Um, I don't know what that means. Um, someone says, I'm joining the group. If you're interested in the group, just send a message to the number on the screen and say, I'm interested in the groups and they will let you know. Okay, yeah. So um, on Facebook, again, it's, um, I'm, I'm sure that they can. Can we put the number on Facebook? It's um, plus two, three, four. 913315061. All right. All right. And there's no way I can pin it, uh, 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 you know. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So someone says that what is the idea dating space, especially for people living in the big cities? I, I don't know what you mean by dating space. You know, all of it, I want the numbers again is pinned on the screen. You can see it there, you know. Um, how do how do I deliver myself and my four sisters from delaying marriage? So this is what I would say. If you have like a family history 
where people don't get married it's something you want to pray about the first way i want to encourage you to join the next level fasting and prayer and join with all your families all of the ladies and guys on those call that had to in marriage please join the next level fasting and prayer join with your families and the second thing i would say is this begin to do things in faith so for you i would say go and get go if you can afford it just buy a wedding dress even if it's not something used the reason why is that your mind because nobody has gotten married to your family is so disconnected from marriage you cannot even say it so begin to break your mind because you need to believe it can happen to you the majority of persons that are delayed really believe it can't happen to them and that's what i want to deal with you need to believe it can happen to you so I said, how do you practically deal with neediness that's good so, you, so how do you practically deal with the emotion of needing? The first thing is this, you need to talk to yourself and be like, and, and begin to tell yourself that, why do you think you need someone? And it, it's going to be something that comes from the past. Maybe, maybe your father never talked so much about you. Maybe your mother never talked so much about you. Maybe your parents didn't have your own time and all of those kind of things. And you always had to struggle for their love and struggle for their attention and struggle for this, you know, you know, and struggle and struggle and struggle. And you need to know something. You being an adult right now, if your father or your mother didn't have your time as a child, did it mean that you were not lovable or there was something wrong with you? That was how they processed their own thing. But that translated to you as a child. How do you begin to correct neediness? By telling yourself, I'm lovable. By treating yourself with respect. By treating yourself with a lot of respect. By changing the law of respect, take care of yourself, make yourself valuable to yourself. Someone says, How do you deal with unforgiveness? It's the same thing. It's by realizing that the more I don't forgive, I don't hurt him, I hurt myself. I'm not hurting him, I'm hurting myself. I'm, you know, I'm not hurting him. Someone says, When is the fasting and prayer comments? It's commencing on Monday. On Monday, they have more information on my Instagram, on the WhatsApp page about the fasting and prayer. It's starting on Monday and we pray together 6.30 a.m. West African time to 7.30. Always a very powerful time. We have about 40,000 people that pray every single day with me. All right, so if you want to join the groups, send the message. The phone numbers are there and it will be there for a while and you can send the message. All right. Someone says, what time do we break on Monday? You can break anytime from 3 p.m. All right, the video will be left there. I would like to pray with you at this time. All right, some of you said I want some more cancelling. Well, the truth is that I really want to cancel everybody, but um, it's difficult to cancel people it's, it, or everybody. But I have some people I can recommend you with. They are professional cancelers. You may need to pay a fee. And they would Christian cancelers that is a, that what they do for life. And I can recommend you there. You know, just to deal with everybody is difficult for me. If you want that details, you can also send a message. I'll be willing to do that for you. And someone say, is it okay to marry someone that older than you? I guess as a lady. If you can manage it, why not? You can marry someone that's older than you. Someone is asking, what do you think about online dating? There's nothing wrong with online uh, meeting online. Online. The thing about online is this. There's a difference between online and physical space. So just in physical space, there's a lot of the seats that can go on in online space. That level of the seat is skyrocketed by like 100%. So although you can meet online and date online, you must be extra careful. You must be extra careful. You must be extra careful because and check some a lot of things. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. Just be extra careful. I've been out of relationship now and two years. No man has ever asked me out. Is it because I'm having issues with spiritual husband? Just because you think that way is a is a problem. Yeah. Just because you think that way. Because Bible says as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Just because some things see. The question is that if you nobody's coming, where's the state of your mind? Have you gone through the teaching of this today? That kind of thing. Someone says I DM'd you. I try to respond to all the DMs, but sometimes it's overwhelming, and I'm just trying to respond to all the DMs. Sometimes it's overwhelming. I'm just to respond to all the DMs. Let me tell you, everyone here, I really love you, and um, I felt the pain of rejection. I know what it means to feel like you know when I, when I when my wife asked me when we're dating, she said. Um, how would you want me to love you? I said, just love me. And the truth is this, because I didn't love myself. I didn't experience love. I didn't even know what love could be. And if you are in that place, maybe the way you were raised, your parents were really, really, they crushed you. 
healing can come to you. That is your past. Remember, nobody is going to go forward looking backward. Maybe you had an abusive past, an abusive childhood. You can do without it. You can move away from it. And let's begin to believe God for a bright future. Don't allow your past to control your future. You can stop it. Maybe a guy came and crushed your mind or a lady came and crushed you. Don't allow the past to crush your future. Let's pray together. I love you and I believe in the best for you. Lord Jesus, I pray. Everyone that is struggling with delay, you stretch for hands, stretch forth your hands towards me. Everyone that is struggling with delay, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of the Holy Ghost break it. Oh, yes. Yes. Let the power of the Holy Ghost break it. We command delay to be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, say with me, I receive my marital blessing and miracle. The delay over my marriage is broken. Receive healing for emotions. Receive healing for emotions. The capacity to overcome being needy. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. I will get a testimony on you. As I pray for you, as you pray for yourself, there will be a testimony over your marital destiny. There will be a testimony over your marital destiny. In your family, they will rejoice. In your home, they will rejoice. The shame and the pain of wasted and painful relationship is cancelled. God will make you laugh. You will be engaged. You will marry. You will not express marital setback. God will fill your heart with laughter. I pray for everyone that is a single mother, a single father, divorced here. Even in that state, that the peace of God and the grace of God will find you. Mercy will prevail on your behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. If you, I want to invite all of you to a physical service at our church. It Harvesters. We have one in Lekki. We have one in Bagada, in Antoni Nikeja. It's really a great service. Tomorrow I'm talking about what is wrong with my faith and prayers. What is wrong with my faith and prayers? If you can join physically, you can watch online on this social media handles. It will be really powerful. I love you. I hope to see you soon. Either tomorrow online, physically, if you are definitely say hi to me. I'd love to hug you and say hello to you. Or I'll see you on Monday at the next level prayers. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful evening today. Love you.